The clock was ticking. The air was thick with anticipation, the adrenaline coursing through the veins of every spectator. It was the 94th minute, and the Western Sydney Wanderers were leading, but the 10-man Adelaide United was not ready to give up just yet. Luka Jovanovic had just halved the deficit with a late goal, and the Reds were launching a desperate push for an equaliser. But as the final whistle blew after an agonising 12 minutes of additional time, the Wanderers had survived the onslaught. Their slender two, one win at Cooper's Stadium, was a testament to their resilience and determination. The game had started with a bang. Nikolas Milanovic, the man of the hour, had opened the scoring in the 18th minute, latching onto a pinpoint cross from Aidan Simmons and burying his header into the bottom left corner. A second goal from Milanovic in the 34th minute had put Western Sydney firmly in command, and the visitors looked set to cruise to the final whistle. However, the Reds had other plans. Despite a red card to Ben Halloran in the 75th minute, they refused to go down without a fight. A late goal from Jovanovic in the 94th minute had given them a glimmer of hope, but it was not to be. The final whistle blew, and the Wanderers clung on to their precious lead. This win has implications for both teams. The Reds, having now lost four of their last five games, are in a precarious position. The Wanderers, on the other hand, moved up to fourth on the Isuzu UTE A-League table with this win away from home. But the game was not without controversy. Halloran's dismissal in the 75th minute had raised eyebrows. The challenge on Wanderers' fullback Aidan Simmons was deemed a red card offence by referee Alex King. Robbie Cornthwaite, co-commentator for Paramount Plus, had expressed his surprise at the decision, stating, I must say, I was a little bit surprised at first look. I mean, he's just clipped him, hasn't he? However, the decision stood, and the Reds had to battle it out with ten men. The Wanderers' win at Cooper Stadium was a thrilling display of football. It was a game of highs and lows, of triumph and despair. The Reds fought valiantly, but it was the Wanderers who emerged victorious. As the dust settles on this dramatic match, both teams will be looking ahead, preparing for their next battle on the pitch.